Welcome everyone. This is Michael from the Marks Group Live. Happy to be reviewing today CRM Basics, The Deal. After this video is over, please do feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this topic or on anything else Zoho. And also be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users and helping us to improve our video library. In this lesson, I'm going to take a first dive into the deals module. I'll show you how to take a deal in Zoho from its inception to its completion. That said, this is a quick lesson. There are lots of details that we can explore along the way. If you'd like to know more about this process, and how to, how to fine tune it for your own business context, drop us a line at support at marksgrouplive.com. So we're going to start today by putting the deals module into the larger perspective of the Zoho CRM environment. We'll look at how to find the deals module, We'll look at how to create a new deal in two different ways. First, by converting a lead, and then by creating one using the add new method. We'll take a quick look into some of the most important fields in a deal, and finally, we'll actually work a deal from start to finish. Now, before we get into our Zoho screens, one word of advice. If your screen does not look exactly like mine, do not panic. Your Zoho instance might have been set up slightly differently from mine, and there may be a few differences in some of the screens. Most of what I demonstrate today should work across all versions of Zoho with minimal differences. If you try to replicate what I'm doing and you get stuck, drop us a line at support at marksgrouplive.com and we'll see about helping you out. Now let's take a look at the context of deals in Zoho. For a lot of organizations, the deal really is what your business is all about. It's the end game. It's why you're doing what you do in your business. Arguably, your sales journey starts with a lead lead, and you'll develop that lead. Let me get my right screen up here. You'll start with a lead and a person who works at an organization, and you'll develop that lead through communications and events, and eventually you'll turn that lead, hopefully, into a contact and an account, which means that you're actually in the process of negotiating to do business with that person and that organization. Then you start the deal-making process and working that through however many stages you have in your business, you'll finally end up with a deal that you've either won or lost. Let's get started by finding the deals module in Zoho. Depending on how your Zoho instance has been set up, you may find the deals module up in the upper left corner or uh, the upper left side of your Zoho, colorful Zoho control bar at the top of your screen. Remember that this color may be different depending on your version and the exact setup of locations of um, modules may be slightly differently than yours. So you may find it up here in, in the top left area or it'll be somewhere under the ellipsis that says there's more here. If you can't see it right off the bat, up at the top there, if you can't see it, you can type the first few letters of the module name and Zoho will show you um, all entries, all modules that fit those parameters or those first few letters. So let's click on deals. Now that we found the deals module, it's time to create a new deal in Zoho. There are two ways to do this. First, we can create a new deal by clicking in the plus sign that's next to the import button if we're already in the deals module. So if we're in the deals module, that plus sign will let us create a new deal. I'm going to cancel that for the time being because I'd like to show you the other way to create a new deal. Up at the top in the colorful Zoho control bar, there's a plus sign. And, depending, um, and on this one, it doesn't matter what module we're in, all of the new records that you can create in Zoho will be up under that plus sign in the Zoho control bar. We just have to find it. So we can create a deal that way as well. Now that's the first of the two ways that we can create a deal. I'm going to cancel that for now. 
Um, depending on your the age of your business, you might find that there's another very common way to create a deal, the second main way to create a deal, and that is when you convert a lead into a contact and, account, and an account, you're given the option of creating a deal in the process. Let's see, let's go to my leads. Let's go to, um, actually let's go to uh, my regular view. Let's say I want to create a lead or I want to convert Scott Albertson, Miss Scott Albertson. And if I convert that lead to a contact and an account, Zoho gives me the option to create a new deal at the same time that I engage in the conversion process. For, the, for younger businesses or businesses that rely mostly on conversion of leads um, for, for their deals, this is the way that you're going to wind up creating most of your deals. Otherwise, if you've been in business for a while and you're doing a lot of repeat business, you may actually wind up doing it from within the deals module already because you won't be converting new contact, new leads into contacts and accounts. So now that I'm in my deals module, I'm going to click there and I'm going to, I'm given a fairly straightforward layout that I have to complete. If you've been in Zoho for a while, you might notice that um, the uh, to the left of some of these fields, there's a red line. That line means that this field is a required field. You cannot save your work. Zoho will not let you out of this module unless you cancel it. Uh, Zoho won't let you out of this module without filling in those fields that have the red line beside them. Beyond those fields, however, I'd like to draw your attention to some of the other fields that are either important or that might give you a spot of trouble at some later time if you're working your deal. So I'm just going to call this MF um, MF test deal three. Uh, let me just get take these in here. I'll do that. I'll say that the account name already exists. We'll make the deal. Uh, we'll set the closing date for the end of this month. The amount of the deal, before I get into the stage, I'll put the amount of the deal here. I'm going to say it's, um, let's say it's a $5,000 deal. Conveniently, Zoho gives you a little pop-up there. Uh, it won't do, for the amount, it won't, I don't think it will do a fractional amount. So, um, let me enter the stage. Here, we see the expected revenue is a locked field, and the expected revenue says zero. The stage is set for none. If I set the stage for qualification, my probability is 10%, and my expected revenue is $500, which is not the same as 5,000, but 500 is 10% of the amount there. Um, you should always make sure that you set the amount for the deal as well as the stage of the deal. Don't worry if you think that the stage will change. Zoho makes it easy for us to do that, and it's part of the actual process of working the deal, which we will get to in a moment. Uh, it should go without saying that the contact name is important. Uh, let me make sure I've got that in here. The contact name is very important. Let's say when I click on the name field there, um, my Zoho pops open this uh, selector, and by default, it shows me contacts related to the organization or to the account uh, that I'm dealing with. Because usually, if I'm dealing with an account and I'm creating a deal with that account, uh, the person, my contact at the account, will usually be the somebody that is involved, or somebody from that organization will be involved. I'm going to click on that, Max Minson. Uh, this is your counterpart with the organization that you're dealing with. It's good to document this person just in case one of your coworkers has to take over the deal. Let's see. Um, good, that's where I want that to be. Um, now, a deal is very much like any other record in Zoho. 
we can edit some of the fields, and we can, perhaps most importantly, add documents and activities to our deal. As I scroll through the deal record, there's a description information. Right now, I'm going to save my file. So I've created a deal. The owner is TMG Live Admin. That's the person who's responsible for working the deal. It's in the qualification stage. Uh, the probability is automatically set as 10% when you've entered the qualification for uh, the qualification stage. And we'll get to the stage down there. We'll get to that in a few moments. My contact person is there, which is rather handy in case I need to get in touch with that person. Here are details about the deal. Usually, this doesn't get modified all too much when you're working the deal. The amount might change, but the other fields are set when we create the deal, and they usually don't change an awful lot except the stage. And again, we'll get back to that. Uh, you may have scoring automatically, uh, automatic scoring systems in place on your Zoho deal. Uh, it is possible to set these up, and in fact, we have classes on scoring, automatic scoring. Um, I'm going to bypass some of these other sections. Some of them are created by default. Others are things that we've created in the process of doing um, recording these tutorials. Notes are helpful. Uh, notes are helpful because the more information you write down about the, the deal, the better shape you'll be in when you return to the deal after a week away or a month away or three weeks later or, a, or half a year later. Uh, the more details you put in there, the the happier you'll be. Uh, in my own one of my own businesses, I've had deals that have taken two years to close. Uh, it's just the nature of being an entrepreneur, and sometimes things go less quickly than you'd hoped. So again, the, the notes field is helpful. Attachments are good. Attachments are handy because this is where you put any documentation that you've developed along the way. Um, the stage history is really cool, but we will get to that. Uh, we'll come back to that shortly. Open activities. This is an area that you're likely to use a lot while you work a deal, unless you're very lucky and you don't have to have a lot of activities between uh, creating the deal and closing it. Um, this is where you set up a task or a meeting or you make a call to your client. If you associate this with the deal itself, it's going to be easier for you to track what you've done with or for this client along the way. The quotes area, this may be something that you use on occasion during the deal development process, depending upon the type of uh, business that you're in. And the contacts role section is also handy. As you meet other people, not just your lead contact, but as you meet other people within the organization, you shouldn't be recording whom you've met and what roles they have. And I'm going to go back up to the top of this record now, because I'd like to look at actually working this deal, not editing, but actually using Zoho to help us as we try to take the deal from inception to completion. Let me see what I've got here. Yeah, so let's go here. Let's go to three. All right. By default, Zoho thinks of a deal this way. We start with what's called the qualification stage, then we move up or along to a needs analysis, the value proposition, identifying the decision makers, submitting a proposal or a price quote, and finally entering into negotiations. If this sequence is unfamiliar to you, let us know and we'll do a deeper dive into the concept of deal stages. So. This is how Zoho thinks of a deal. There are, half dozen, there are half dozen stages along the way that hopefully, perhaps, leads to a win. You close the deal, you get the contract, and Zoho assumes that this is a good thing. Of course, it's also possible to lose a deal, that the deal can be closed with a loss. That is to say, you didn't get the deal, but negotiations broke down and you're not pursuing this deal any further. Um, or you can actually specify that a deal has been closed and lost to the competition. 
And if you've been watching any of our videos, it shouldn't surprise you to discover that these six deal stages can be modified by an administrator on your Zoho system. As you work your deal, as you meet the contact person and others at the organization, you can be adding documentation to your deal in Zoho. You can schedule calls and events. You can prepare documents and attach them to this record. You can log emails and phone calls and meetings. Now, um, there are about four things I'd like to draw to your attention before we wrap up this lesson. First, as I click through the stages of the deal, I can either do it here or I can do it here. So identify decision makers, or if I say, let's go to, let's take it back to needs analysis, unfortunately, we get bounced back to that stage. Um, as we work through the deal stages, you'll notice that the probability of success changes. It increases or decreases depending upon whether we're moving toward the right or toward the left. Uh, if we're moving toward the, in the direction of a successful sale, the probability will increase. So it needs analysis, it's 10%. At the value proposition, it's 40%. 60% when you identify the decision makers, 75% at the price quotation. And when you're into negotiations, it's 90%. And of course, this has, this can be changed uh, as you, uh, in your, when you have administrative rights to the back end of your Zoho instance. Uh, you'll also notice that the expected revenue changes. So it's a probability of my $5,000 deal. It's a 60% probability. Zoho says, well, expected revenue is $3,000. This doesn't always work for all businesses. Uh, this, again, can be modified. Something else that I'd like to show, that I'd like to draw to your attention, uh, if I click that the deal has been closed and lost, Zoho asks me to verify the closing date of the deal asks me to verify the stage and gives me the ability to specify why the deal was lost. This is handy in terms of uh, your business forensics, in terms of understanding the process of your business. Of course, if you're an entrepreneur, you may have these things etched in your memory very vividly why you lost a deal. But in the case of a larger organization, or if you're dealing, if you're um, working a lot of deals, it is helpful to remember or to have this reminder why you lost the deal. Closed and lost to comp competition also gives us a reason for loss. There are two other deal stages, uh, closed lost and closed one. That is when you're not actually working a deal, but you're entering details of a past deal. So these last two are for the very specific case where you have imported or you're making a record of the deal that you're not actually actively working, but you're recording the fact that it happened. Um, let's see, another thing, a third thing that I'd like to draw to your attention as I scroll down is the deal, is the stage history. The stage history is really interesting. You can see exactly how and when your deal moved forward or backward. So you can see, based upon the time, the amount of your deal, the probability, and the expected revenue. So this is a really interesting way to see, um, to track how the deal progresses. Again, this is going to be most useful when somebody else is working a deal and you as a manager or an owner, or even uh, as a successor, or if you're going through your own records, when you wanna remember what happened with this deal. One of the neatest things here also here is the stage duration. The stage duration column actually calculates uh, how many days your deal spent in each transition stage. Uh, this can be super helpful in terms of identifying your sales process bottlenecks. And one other thing based on the stage history, down here when you open up the drawer, the more features drawer or the navigation drawer, Zoho gives you a really nifty summary of your process. It says that our lead conversion time was instant, the sales cycle duration is 15 days, and the overall sales duration is 15 days. So 
That's because our closing date was March 31st. If I go back up here and I mark the deal as closed and won, and I say that it be closed and won the day, sorry, won the deal on the 18th, Zo changes the sales duration, cycle duration, and the overall sales duration because we created this deal supposedly on the 16th. We closed it supposedly on the 18th, which means I've got a two day sales duration. And for an awful lot of businesses, that would be an ecstatic situation where they managed to uh, set up a deal and close it within two days. So that kind of information is helpful. And one other bit of information, the last really cool and co um, critical aspect of a deal that you should know about is that it is possible to establish a workflow whereby a deal has to be approved by somebody in your organization before it can proceed. I'm going to go back to my deals module. Here we've got a test deal that we set up. It's worth $20,000. There's a lock beside it. And when I hover over that lock, it says waiting for approval. And when I click on it, it says waiting for approval. And the person, the icon beside it says TMG Live Gen User. That means that we've set up a workflow uh, whereby a deal, we can specify even the kind of deal. So we can say if the deal in this case is $20,000, so if it's over $10,000, it has to be approved by somebody before uh, it proceeds to the next level. This is great in terms of preventing your business from being in the situation where a junior member of your staff has set up a uh, $50,000 deal that you can't actually honor, where you don't have the goods or you don't have the organizational capacity to make good on the deal. By using, um, by using sign-offs or approval processes, we can create those in Zoho. They're actually pretty easy to do. And yes, we have a class on that too. Um, so this is a really useful thing in terms of your business integrity and maintaining the good name of your business to set up these approval processes. So let's recap what we've done today. Let me find my mouse. There we go. Today, there we go. We looked at the context of deals in, the, uh, in Zoho. We looked at them in terms of leads, contacts, and accounts. We took a look at the deals module, where to find it, uh, what you may notice. Let me skip back to that screen for a second. The most recently used module is always to the immediate left of the ellipsis if it's not one of the hard-coded uh, modules up at the top. Again, of course, we have a class for that, customizing your views. Uh, we took a look at the two methods to create a deal, either using the plus sign that's in the Zoho control bar or in the uh, at the top of the leads module. And we looked at creating a deal in the context of converting a lead into an account and a contact. We looked at some of the most important fields in a deal, and we very, very briefly ran a deal from start to finish, and we looked at the process at uh, the different stages of a deal and what happens to some of the, fa um, the fields, the expected revenue and the probability, and of course the stage history information. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or questions that you may have about Zoho, email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thanks for viewing.